Up To You is a multi-agency project, resulting in the production of a unique interactive double DVD film aimed towards assisting in the prevention of antisocial behaviour. Following the lives of the Whitaker family, Up To You allows 9 to 13 year olds the opportunity to view, discuss and plot the actions and decisions the Whitaker family takes. Attached to these actions and decisions are consequences which only become apparent as the storyline you choose unfolds. In essence, what happens to the Whitaker family is up to you. 50 quid fine. 50 quid? For dropping a can? Yeah, well steep that. So you've cost us 50 quid? Because I don't suppose you've got it, have you? As part of the school's citizenship curriculum, aimed at key stage two and three pupils, Up To You has been very well received in the Bolton area, <laughs> proving to be an excellent school and community teaching aid, providing interest and promoting constructive group discussion. As a result, Up To You has allowed many youngsters an awareness of the potentially devastating consequences attached to antisocial behaviour. This double DVD is complemented with a tutor pack, allowing the demonstrator to navigate through this entertaining, thought-provoking interactive film. The tutor pack, along with the narrator's guidance, allows the viewers complete control of the Whitaker family destiny, demonstrating that decisions you make in life are up to you. Don't watch out now. The fun's just beginning. Want for him? We'll see who can break the most windows. And who's the first chicken out and run off before the police come? We want you to talk to us while we nick a piece of paper out of a bag. A 999 call. A big one, stupid. Here. Yeah. This place did always need a bit of um, central heating. <laughs> Twice, but you ain't coming out till you've done it. Been for, you go for it. Chill girl, how are we gonna get found out? Well, well I get the fags, you nick some chocolate. What? Just do it. But I don't think it's anything in my life, I don't even know how to do it. Don't start with snooping my name. Oi, pull those back. What's your name, son? Um, Adam, Adam Whitaker. Literature officer, you can get a 50 quid fine. 50 quid? For dropping a can? So you've cost us 50 quid? Because I don't suppose you've got it, have you? The couple had a narrow escape tonight from a fire started by vandals in an empty house. The fire spread next door as they slept and firemen broke in just in time before they were overcome by smoke. An anonymous 999 call saved the lives of the couple and police are asking for any information about who may have started the fire. <coughs> Evening sir, I'm WPC Williams. Does Adam Whitaker live here? Why? What's up? Is it possible to have a word with him? It don't matter. Find someone else who's not chicken. What's going on here? They don't like me rushing off from work. I've already had a lot of time off with my back and they didn't like this at all. Well, I'm sorry about that, Mrs Whitaker, but this is rather an urgent matter and I did want to speak with you before I call the police. I got sacked. 
going to see your stupid head was the final straw. They're sick of me taking time off, so that's it. Adam! Not in police is Oh, well, this is just great. Guess what? I'm out of a job. What? It is with regret that I have to inform you that because of repeated incidents of, van of vandalism to the premises, we have been forced to relocate the factory to a more secure location. You did? I'm impressed. Well done, lad. I think that deserves a raise in pocket money. What do you think? Oh, definitely. Oh, madam. I'm not so proud of you. Get off, Gran. Sometimes the connection between what we do and the consequences aren't that obvious. It will be a long time before the family gets back to normal. And all the bad things that happened could have been avoided. None of them were accidents. Why are the kids going crazy? I don't understand. I mean, with my house sale, what hope have I to get someone to come and spend 130 grand and move to an area where when they arrive, all they see is graffiti and people hanging around who've got nothing better to do? That's it, exactly, isn't it? Give us a call now into the studio. What are your thoughts on this? Is there any way we can remedy it? Is it just our generation? Are we just stuck in the mud? Give us a call as well, kids. Is there nothing to do on the streets? Are you just bored?